All right. We're going to talk horse racing now on a Friday morning as we have one Kentucky Derby prep race to go. Not a lot of points, but points there is to be had in the Lexington Stakes. That's one of our races that we're going to handicap a little bit later on in the show. Two races specifically at Keeneland. Uh, John Hardoon joining us as usual here. Johnsheets.com. How's it going, John? Good, Greg. How are you? Good. And uh, what did you think about last week? We uh, we did two shows. And the one show that was available to our patrons, uh, you hit both right on the number. Uh, Mo Donegal. And what was it? Zandon? Mo Donegal, Zandon. And we had the other winner also, Taiba. All three big races, we, we were lucky enough to give out the winner. Yeah, Taiba, that mystery horse. Uh, and wow. Uh, and his sheet and his, and the Ragazin sheet line was seven in the first race. And then a six minus last week. Wow. Incredible. The good news is for anyone that's in the Derby that those three races, Mo Donegal, Zandon and Taiba all ran big last week and they all ran new tops. Okay. So that doesn't bode so well for the, a month away you know, for the Derby Day. So if you have a horse in the Derby, you should be a little encouraged that all those horses ran so well. You mean like Cyberknife? Exactly, yeah. like Cyberknife. <laughs> you want horses going in the right direction on Derby Day, Derby Day, not going in the wrong direction. And most of these horses are probably going to react off of those races. As far as Taib is concerned, the whole world is talking about him, how great he is, and he is terrific. To do what he did in career start number two to go a mile and an eighth, Listen, he's out of gun runner, like we said last week on the show, and they only get better with distance. You don't see a gun runner running a seven like he did sprinting first out. All that being said, I'm, I don't think he has any chance in the Derby, despite what everybody thinks and everyone else. To make your third start in a 20-horse <laughs> field, stretching out to a mile and a quarter when you're not battle-tested, good luck to you. I hope that horse takes money, you know. I'm sure the wise guys won't, will avoid that horse because he's going to be overhyped and overbet, and uh, I give him very little chance to win the Derby. Yeah. That's just my opinion, but you want Chad Summers top 10 because that, that bracket is still intact, and uh, again, a terrific job by Chad, and another terrific show on Monday. Got a lot of positive feedback from people. They seem to love it, so I don't know what you're going to do when the Derby's over, but you're going to have to figure out a way to get them to continue doing Monday shows. <laughs> There's a lot of good races, as you know, after the Derby, so we'll... we'll, we'll... Yeah, you have the Preakness, you have the Belmont, then you have Saratoga and Delmont, I'm sure you And then the Breeders. It. And then the Breeders' yeah. Cup, so... We'll be fine. He's for the next eight months. Yes. That's good. Uh, He'll be happy yeah. to hear that. Uh, and, and Taiba is going to come from... A California racetrack with six horses. Exactly. And he's gonna go to he's gonna go he's to gonna Churchill. Shock. Like what the hell happened here? Who are these, what? Who are these people? Five, yeah, and where horses. The, where only four only four horses? What happened? Yeah. All of a sudden twenty. Yeah, so that's good luck. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of Cyberknife, and we've we've uh, been teasing this promotion for the past few weeks, so now we're making it official. Now that we're pretty much through the major prep races and we have a pretty good idea who's going to be in the Derby, we are going to be giving away one ticket. It's a $10 future. And by the way, we might do this again, depending on how quickly uh, somebody wins this ticket. But we have one ticket right now to give away. It's a $10 future for Cyberknife to win the Derby at 37 to 1 odds. So that's what? 75 times 5. What is that? That's $70. How much is that? Around three hundred seventy dollars. Okay, three hundred seventy dollar payoff. Okay, there you go. You got to love that. Now that pay high tier uh, patron, by the way, for the next three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, now all you have to do to qualify is be a patron. Could be five dollars, could be ten dollars, doesn't matter. You're a patron. You qualify. You can be a patron now, or you could be a new patron. So whoever is a patron will qualify. And what you have to do is, as soon as you're a patron. Of course, you have immediate access uh, to me with an email. You pick any race uh, by April 30th. And again, if, if, if somebody wins this and we run through the gamut of patrons by then, we could, all, we could do this all over again. But right now, it's April 30th. That's the, that's the end date. And you have to correctly predict a winner of any race that you want. So basically, what you're doing is, is sending me an email after you're a patron and saying, okay, Keeneland on Friday, 
uh, race four, I want the five. That's it. And whoever makes more money on the win. So you would think, well, what's the tiebreaker if I win and he wins? Well, whoever's got the biggest payout. Whoever has the biggest payout. So you want to go out and be the safe guy and try to get the favorite. Maybe maybe you'll win. Maybe everybody will lose. But if only win bet, by the way, only win bets. Only no win bets. Prize or yes. No, else. no, uh, no places and all that other stuff. Okay. Um, anyway, so oh, and by the way, you cannot pick a race that we handicap on this show. So those Why do not, not qualify. Why? Because we're giving them the information. They got to do this well, on their own. Against us, yeah. Uh, they're doing yeah. this on their own. All right, and yeah, so there you go. So uh, by we'll the see. way, by the way, we'll have some other gifts uh, like cyber knife hats and gold uh, square hats. A couple of them, I'll I'll get access to, and um, and we'll give those away as well. And, and John is going to have them when he goes to the Derby. So if anybody mentions the show while he's at the Derby, he'll take out one of his hats and he'll go, "Here you go." So you had to do is mention the show. <laughs> I, I I don't think you're going to need a whole lot of hats, but maybe you will. I don't know. Uh, anyway, there are a lot of people at the Derby. Okay, yeah. so uh, I also want to announce that uh, one of our latest uh, $10 tier members, uh, Bluegrass Dan. So we want to uh, just say hi to Bluegrass Dan. He's one of our newest $10 patrons. And what that means is is Dan gets the opportunity to pick the race that we handicap each week. And we have two races, as I mentioned, as usual. Both will be at Keeneland. And the first race is going to be race eight. And this is going to be the race that our patrons picked. And this is going to be the five and a half furlong turf race, the Giants Causeway Stakes. 